pretty good. Hey guys, this is Brandon. We're back again. We're out here at Wilcox Golf Club in Red Bluff. I'm out here with my buddy Josh, so we're gonna play a match for you guys out here. Uh, we jumped a hole two. We're gonna get started out here, and Josh is right behind the camera there for you. What's Josh up? is How doing? pro golfer, passes PAT. Almost. A lot Almost better there. than me, but I'm gonna come for him on his home course, see if I can give him a run for his money. So when you say jump ahead the whole two, are we just going to forget about the fact that I made birdie and I'm one So up we're just right going to pretend that Josh didn't make a birdie out there, so we're dead even. <laughs> oh, we're dead even I gotta now. <laughs> and I need two strokes for sure. I'll give you, I'll give you, instead of two total, I'll give you three on the back. Is the back that hard? Yes. Josh says the back <laughs> is that hard. What do we got here? Uh, we got a par five. It's going to go hard left. Uh, I'm going to try to ideally take a little cut over that tree right there the miss is right we got a lot of room right and left is going to be onto another hole and a lot of trees so we're not trying to go left we're definitely going to try to go straight with a little cut if we're dead at that tree in the middle i'm not complaining all right let's see it Leaked a little right. Big miss. But one right of the cart path over there. We're planning our misses. It's right, and we're still gonna be okay. All right, Brandon's gonna go to school on my miss there and try to try to do a little better here. I try to do the same thing, but the way he wanted to. <laughs> No, I think that might be really good. It depends on how far you hit it. If you caught it really good, it'll be really good. I made a good swing, just a little left. I don't know, I never play this course, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Josh is a little over here on the right rough. How far you got in? Uh, 255 to a back flag. It's 255 to a back flag. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, choke down on the three wood, hit a cut up there, it's a little, a little colder this morning so I'm hoping it'll not go as far don't want to hit my three iron because it brings bunker into play and I just don't want to deal with the bunker today don't we all wish we could hit short knock down three woods 255 well that's right at it Oh, they went in the bunker. Almost carried the bunker. It was a great shot. He went straight oh, wow. at the lip. Well, that was a good swing. All right, found Brandon's ball. As you can see, he's got some stuff to deal with here. Um, and we are playing match play, so he can be as bold as he wants because worst case scenario, he'll just lose the hole. And it, we don't, it doesn't matter about strokes right now. Oh, my hour, you Hey, my guy, you see the 150 mark 30 yards in front of you? Oh, that's a 150 mark? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm just going to fucking punch a punch a, a five iron up there about 100 yards. Try to keep right it below these right trees right here. That's fine? Yeah, yeah. Don't go too far. Like, don't go through the fairway because there's more trees over there. You'll be doing this again. So just make sure it stays in the middle of the fairway. Oh, okay. I'll hit a sub knot. There you go. That's perfect. Good shot. Nice. Very mature and intelligent layup perfectly. And he's got 100 yards on the dot left to attack this flag. Going right at it. Yep, going right at it. He's He has to, because he knows with your boy's great short game, I'm gonna be getting up and down for a birdie. I got my fan wedge. Pretty good number for me, I think. Oh, that's a 
Oh, if it gets there, it's good. Uh, a little short, but he's on the green. He'll be putting for birdie. Yeah, not my best. Not his best, not his worst. I got a chance to putt. I'll take it. Here. He's got the whole green to work with, though. Just got to make sure it jumps up at the start. Sand looks pretty decent. Should be an easy put into four feet. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad though. It's a scary flag to be going straight out the pin. It's funny, a member very cordially let us go first. And of course now he's playing at a three hour pace. <laughs> Pushing us. Brandon's got some some felt in between him and the hole here. He's definitely in three putt territory. I think this one's going in. Okay. Gosh, we need to go play somewhere else. These, I green, these greens are too slow. I hammered that. I told you it was slow compared to Cherry. You didn't believe me. I tried pure. to warn you. I gotta tell you folks, that was a pure stroke. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right. So Josh has got his birdie here. I think he's also in three putt territory. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. These are rolling about a, a five on the stip meter. The match has started and the shit-talking has too. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little meat on that. Get out of here. Oh, sneaks it in the hole. Yep. I'll try to tie the hole. There's a tap in right here. He's looking at me like he wants me to give it to him. But uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and make them putt it. These are easy putts. These, these I don't even worry about. Walk in and tap it in. If I can get it there, granted. Can't hit it. They're just so slow. This guy's talking like they're fives. When he's used to 11s, these are nines. These are and slow as dirt. Oh. Uh, Sorry that you can't be an athlete and make an adjustment. <laughs> Your boys. He's one up. I three Two putt. Up. Just pretending the first hole never happened. Wow. If it's not on footage, it didn't count. That's pretty sure that's two laws of two. laws of history. If someone shot 59 on the golf course, there's no footage, it didn't count. Two up through two. All right. He's trying to swindle me, guys. We're on a short par four here. It's like 3.30, I think. He's hitting a three iron. Everything's in play. And it's right down the middle. Very nice. Thank you. All right, what's Brandon hitting? Oh, to, to try to keep up my three iron, he's gonna be hitting three wood. Let's see if he blames this bad shot on the greens, too. Swinging won't be the issue today, I promise you that. We hit a nice little power fade here. Power fade. Oh, is that a Hideki pause at the top there to hit a beautiful little, cute little cut up the fairway? Yep. Well, 223 wood fade <laughs> down the middle. I love it. <laughs> All right, here's Sir Joshua on the fairway. I'm up there about at least 70 yards in front of him. Maybe like 10. How far are you out? Uh, 95. Josh is 95 yards out. It's to a front pin right here over the bunker. We saw how he likes to hit in the bunker, so. There's a good chance that that's in play right now. <laughs> what are you hitting, a sand? Yeah, sand wedge, bringing it high. In the high sand wedge. Oh, 
Blocked, blocked it out to the right. Bunker. It's the right, and it's in the right bunker. All right, he's on a streak, guys. Bunker streak. It's impressive. What do you got, Brandon? 76. Lob wedge. No. Just gotta put it on the green. Over the bunker would be nice. I don't know, that bunker looks fun. The fly on my ball, go away. Seventy six. Alright. Try to get it on somewhere. Not bad. It's a little deep, I think. Very deep, but not bad. Nah. Well, with me in a bad line in the bunker, it'll probably be a, a, a win three for Brandon. Three-foot territory, probably. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this. Josh is buried right in the middle of this. With the because, scrambled egg. Because I'm We call that a scrambled egg. What? Because I'm an upstanding member. I'm still going to play it that way, but I'd just like to point out with no rakes, I'd be allowed to place it. But due to our match and he's at a home course, I think it's fair that he has to play the scrambled egg. It's going to suck. Yeah, um, just everything's in play right now, guys. Hide your kids, hide your wives. This is going to launch out. Actually, it was really good. He just rolled it over the back of the green. That shot's brutal, but that's karma for the disrespect you've been giving me. <laughs> Josh has got his little chipper here. I'm gonna try to hole out, because I'm gonna par it at worst, most likely, hopefully. Oh, it looks nice. Boom, right at it. Good touch. Got a little four footer for bogey right there. Is that good? Um, well, I gotta put out first. I don't know right now. I just think I'm still in three foot territory. <laughs> hey, how about this? Nope, no okay. how bouts. Seeing as how we're playing match play, I'm sure his only goal is to get it within a couple feet. Because six feet, I'll be happy. <laughs> He's gonna roll it up here to about a foot, a and I'm gonna give him the hole. Still couldn't get there. Wow. My goodness. Can you give me that? Yeah, my putt's for five. I don't care. Yeah. I said yeah. Let's go. Right. Let's just go to four. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. All right. Brandon is now one up. Or, I'm sorry, one down. One Excuse up, baby. Me. Let's Excuse go. Excuse me. One down. All right, folks. We got a par three here. It's 191. Not a whole lot going on. Sorry for my fingers. There's a bunker on the left. Trees to the right, but pretty straightforward. What are you hitting? I'm just going to be uh, just gonna be hitting a smooth five here. Smooth five from Josh. Probably hitting a little baby cut, I imagine. Baby draw. Oh, he's drawing it. All right, watch out, folks. Josh is in the normal draw of the ball, so this is where magic is made. Oh, it's going left towards the bunker. Oh, you can see it. See where it landed? Yeah, uh, past the bunkers yeah. in the rough. Right. I'll have to get it up and down for par. Probably an easy chip. Probably shouldn't have tried to draw it. So as Brandon mentioned, I rarely draw the ball. I make him nervous. I beat him on one hole, and now he's changing up his whole game plan for me. <laughs> oh, oh it's left. Bunker. Get in the bunker. bunker. Get in the bunker. Left. Get in the bunker. Oh, oh carried it. Get over the bunker. Dang it. All right. We're about the same spot. I'm okay. I think I'm in a better spot. He is. All right. So there is a ball on the green. We don't know if this ball is ours or just a magical ball that came from anywhere. What's the deal on this, Josh? Uh, magic. Nope. Just a random ball. We both got excited. Thought it was ours. I'm right here in the rough. And Josh, what do you know? Josh is in the bunker again. He enjoys those bunkers. Nobody asked you. <laughs> All right, again, Josh has a lot of green to work with, but a little lip in front of him. Oh, it didn't roll out. Right at the flag, but a little short, maybe 15, 18 feet. 
All right, here's Brandon. All right. With the biggest Achilles heel of his game, which is chipping. My chipping's getting, getting better. And uh, I think I'm getting used to these greens. I could be more aggressive on this. Give me a good chance I make this one. No shot. He's gonna get close. If we could pull the flags out, ask Josh to pull it. Oh, pretty good. Oh, it's check. Pretty good. Not bad, I'm not though. Check out of the rough. Because you're too good. Ah. All right, Josh over here to make par and give me a read. Should be able to give us a good roll. He knows the greens. Wow. Ooh. That was really right. good. <laughs> it's good pace. Yeah, good pace. <laughs> wow. And Josh just thinks those are good. But they uh, are. okay. Alright guys, you know the plan. If I get it there, it's going in. I'm gonna really hammer this one. There we go. And that's why I didn't care about mine, because I knew he would make it. <laughs> Back in action. Our second par five on the front. Yeah, it's gonna be slightly to the left. If it's on a clock, it's like it's going towards one o'clock. Brandon now has the box. One o'clock to the right. Yes, it is. You said to the left. Sorry, one o'clock to the right, my bad. This is what I have to deal with, guys. So, Brandon's gonna come over here. So if I hit it that right three, is that fine? Or is that going to be left of that? Right tree is fine. Cut it off the right tree. So I want to go right of the right tree? Yes. Oh, the hole's over there. Yep. Oh, oh, I see it now. So that little skinny left tree is left. Correct. Okay. I got it now, guys. <laughs> Playing blind is always an adventure. I'm going to try to do that same little cut with the three wood, except for strike a little better. Oh, a little baby draw right at the tree that we're not trying to go at. Into it, got past it. He'll be able to play from there. Oh. It'll be okay. The struggle of hitting the ball so straight. Well, I can't be too mad at hitting a straight shot. I just, hopefully I got past that big tree up there. I'm not sure. You did. I did? You got by it. All right. We'll probably end up laying up and trying to hit a wedge again. One of these wedges, if I keep hitting wedges all day, one of them will get close. <laughs> Look how high this ball is teed up, folks. He's about to hit a nuker. He looks like one of those long drive guys right now. And he hit a little pull cut, fading right at the tree. He's getting right of it. He literally went in the same spot as me. Oh, no, he bounced past it. He went just right of the tree, so it worked out. I don't know why Tita's so high to hit that low. <laughs> I'm not very good. <laughs> Barely in the fairway. That's in the fairway. Well, that's all that matters, is that it's in it. If he can hit a baby draw 280, that would be about perfect. What would you say, Brandon? Well, the flag is 240, so. Oh, <laughs> don't if hit, I hit a 280. hit a 280, <laughs> I can't hit a baby draw 280, so good thing it is 240. I'm going to try to hit my three wood up there. Hopefully this one draws. Right looks a little scary over there, so. Right's not good. Left's not a lot better, but. We didn't come here to lay up. No, we did not. We came here to hit get gers. Whew, wish me luck, folks. A little left. I hit it pretty well, though. Yeah, not bad. Oh, hit the tree. Hit oh, the tree going. and got a wonderful bounce. <laughs> oh, my God, that almost went in. What is going on it here? Hit the tree left, bounced right, and rolled up onto the green past the flag. I think I'm like the middle of the green. I don't even know anymore, folks. This is nonsense. That's a shooter's touch right there, baby. This is nonsense. <laughs> All right, Josh is about 10 yards in front of me. He's up in the rough. This is actually kind of tough because he got the trees right here. They're pretty high. He's 218. You decide what you're going to do? Are you going to try to draw one? Or are you... Yeah. I'm going to try to hit a high draw. Can do a high draw. Probably kind of do what I did. Hit off a tree. Get on the green. Simple shot. That's the that's the plan. 
And what do you got? Four iron? Uh, I'm going to go, choke down on the three iron. All right, he's got three iron. He's probably going to try to aim at that bunker out there the right. He's going to draw. So try to perf how much I love those bunkers. Try to execute it. Yeah, there's a good chance he'll be in the bunker, but he, he's working on it right now. Bunker play. <laughs> oh, and he hit it right at the bunker. He's going to carry it. Uh, and I think he's a good chance he is in the bunker. Good swing, though. Thank you. All right, Josh ended up being just short of the bunker. So, kind of a tricky little shot, though. Not a lot of green to work with right here. It's a lot of fringe, and the green ooh, green is about where that shadow is. So, I'm over there putting for eagle like a fucking champ. Good. Oh, look at that. What a shot. It was like three feet right there, maybe two feet. Great touch. Thank you. Thank you. Cannon's being cheap and not giving me a one and a half footer. One, that's the longest one and a half feet I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he tells his girlfriend. <laughs> All right, I got the speed down now. This is a for sure eagle. He's calling it, folks. He's calling the shot. I can read him, I just gotta get him there. It's got about 15, 20 feet. It's the luckiest shot in all of Wilcox history. You gotta capitalize. If you get lucky, remember that, folks. If you get lucky, you gotta capitalize. Doesn't mean pay dues. Oh, he hammered it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see that one, Brandon. You're still away, sir. That was a great line. That was going in the hole. I just, I actually hit one past the hole. I didn't know I was capable of that. Nice. All right, still made bird. Good birdie. Josh has got a scary little, scary little foot and a halfer. Maybe three foot. Um, <laughs> Two and a half, three feet. Just because it's a birdie. If it was a par, I would give it to him. Very nice. All right. We're all square still. Two birds. There's two different ways to play it. You could hit a tree and bounce it on to 15 feet. Or you could hit it right and then ship it up to two feet. Right now, Brandon's debating between three wood and driver. Personally, with how his iron game is, I think he should hit driver so he can have a wedge. <laughs> My irons are better than my driver. I mean, better than my wedges. Well, then hit three wood. Don't you love it when it's easy? So Brandon's doing the safe and mature thing, what I should be doing. And he's gonna hit three wood. Probably gonna end up being somewhere between nine iron and seven iron, depending on how well he hits it. Seven iron? <laughs> Oh shit, maybe three wood again. That was not very good. What was that? Someone got quick at the top and <laughs> shut the face. I like, I don't know what that was. I guess driver would be better. Or not that shot. <laughs> Most likely the swing I've made in 40 years. I've only been alive for 25, folks. I don't know what happened there. I was deciding the whole time I was going to hit a cut or a draw. And I think I never committed. And I just came right over the top instead. That's what happens you don't commit to your shot. Nice power fade right down the middle. Probably on the green. Good shot. Thank you. Found it. My guess is he's gonna have about either two high wood or three wood in. 259, does that sound right? Yeah, 259 sounds right, seeing as how the 150 this. mark is way up there. I'm gonna hit the same club that I just hit so well. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back on that horse and rider. See, if he can pull off the exact shot he had in the five, it would be perfect. Little baby draw, bounce off a tree. I'm actually gonna hit a cut here. 
cut off a cut lie. Yeah. As you can see, the lie is going a little that way. Oh, it's a straight ball slash little baby draw. Definitely had the distance, and if it gets past one of the greenside trees, he should have he should have a good alley to try to get up and down for par. I still have faith in him, folks. I think he can do it. Oh man, he carried it straight here. I just did it. Impressive. Yeah, you don't know I can back up a driver, you know. Only pros can spin their driver back. Spin it 285. What do you got? Uh, I got 115. 115 to a back flat, a little uphill. What's this guy get hit? Gap? Pitching wedge? Uh, I'm going to go gap wedge. Gap wedge. Pitching wedge brings long in if I don't hit it well. I haven't been hitting my uh, wedges well today, so. Smart. Well, if you want to come join me over there on the left side, you're <laughs> welcome to. There's plenty of room over there for two of us. Right at it. Well, that was good. Ooh, that's close. Uh, maybe a little deep, actually. It looks good. It's a great swing. Make sure you fix your divot. Have some respect. There we go. It's right behind that tree from our angle, so he's going to grab lob wedge and seven iron just in case. Oh, I should probably grab my putter. Brandon called it. I was a little long. I didn't think a chip gap wedge would go 120, but it is a lot hotter than it has been. Probably going to get over 100 today, and the ball is flying right now. But he does have a lot of green to work with. That is going to help him here. If you can get it on the green and have a putt within 15 feet, I'd be impressed. Yep, got it on the green, and he's got about 30 feet left, which honestly is not that bad considering where he was at. Not happy about it. Little USGA, you suck, go again. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> You're still away. <laughs> we got a 90 but, here. But Brandon has this very odd habit of making putts that he shouldn't make. So I wouldn't honestly be surprised at all if this one went in. Don't worry about getting it there. Oh, I love the line. Oh, oh my goodness, he almost made it. I tried. It. What an absolute <laughs> I, turd. I had making to give it me, a go. Making my butthole pucker from 90 feet out. Oh, what a guy. All right, I'll take the bogey. That yeah. was an ugly hole. All right, now Josh, two putt to win, and of course he's gonna go for his birdie. Definitely. Looks like it's gonna break a little to his right, I think. Not positive. The way his aim looks like it might break a lot. I don't know. Go. Oh, a little yeah, shorter. A little That's good. All right, Josh goes back up a, up, a, up a hole. Make sure you fix your divots, folks. Fix your divots. Flag. All right, guys, the hole is 322. Explain it to us, Josh. Uh, I got OB right, OB left, um, trees all along the left side, so accuracy is a premium here. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna go four or five iron, just so that I'm in the fairway and give myself a chance to get it close. I might hit a nine iron, folks, just to get out in the middle. <laughs> Don't plan on blocking it right. All right, so we got to hit good shots here off the tee. Josh said basically, man up and hit a good shot. A little left, a 
of the trees. I don't know if that's fine or not. Is that fine over there? Yeah, we're good. Is that where you want to be? I mean, I'm not going to complain, but right. it's not great. It's not bad. Not how Brandon wanted it to go, but it should be perfect, honestly. Yeah, he should have a little wedge in, all that, good in the middle of the fairway. I hate that kind of weird, but it looks like it works. Yep, it'll work. Josh is right here in the rough. He's got 99 yards, flags on the left. It's up above us. I'd probably add four or five yards just by guess. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit a solid sand wedge. And actually hit it well instead of blocking it off to the right like I did earlier. Well, but it looks like it's better to be a little right than it is left on this one. A little right of the flag. Oh, bounce left. Uh, that was decent. I think it might be a little short, short, but short. a little short, but he's gonna roll it uphill. It's a gur. Cartage? 87. It's uphill. I probably should be hitting my sand wedge, but my sand wedge is kind of questionable numbers wise sometimes, so I'm just gonna hit a full lob wedge. So I'm gonna be a good person and tell you to go get your sand wedge because look how sloped this green is from back to front. Full lob wedge coming in with all that spin, I feel like is gonna rip back hard. I'm not ripping this back. Okay. Now, folks, when it rips back 28 yards, just know that it was on video saying I was a good person. Holy shit, where'd I go? Little right, still up near the green. He's either going to chip or putt. Not the best swing in the world. I struggled so hard. <laughs> it was pure though. <laughs> it was pure. Uh, I, don't right. think, I don't think either of us are rolling this in. Guys, Josh is saying that a two-putt is going to win the hole, so that kind of scares me. But my distance is pretty good. I'm right here on the right side of the green. Josh is a little short in the front. We both got rolls at it, but it seems like this green breaks a lot. Oh, I did not read that the way you did. Holy crap. That broke so much to the left. Good thing that wasn't my putt. I would have been about six feet to the left of you. Yeah, but now Brandon's in his own head about, oh my goodness, that thing broke so much. Now what's mine going to do? That is 100% fact. About 25, 30 feet here. All downhill. Little tip there. All downhill. Not bad, sir. I'm happy with that. I made a good putt on that one. Not bad. I don't need to see it. That's good. All right. Oh, he hits it in anyways. <laughs> what a guy. All right, Josper. Straightforward little uphill putt right here. This is where separates the boys from the men right here. Damn, you gotta bring that into it. <laughs> I'm gonna brick it. No, you're not. You're gonna hit it right in the middle of the cup. There you go, right in the middle of the cup. All right, Josh still one up. We both survived. Off not mediocre wedge shots. 